What is up, UJ fans? It's your boy, Clicky, joined by the one, the only muskrat player. How you doing tonight? Doing great. How about you? Oh, uh, fantastic as always. You know, uh, hearing that I had to cast a game at 930, couldn't have been any happier. <laughs> so, but uh, all sarcasm aside, it should be yet another banger match coming out of UJ Esports tonight. We've got some Overwatch taking on George Mason University. Um, so it should be a fun one. And UJ actually hasn't lost a series yet this season in any of our games. Really? So let, yep. So let's wow. hope that Overwatch can keep that trend up. Um, last night, we had uh, an absolute nail-biter of a series. Went to Game 5 overtime in Rocket League. So that was, that was a really, really fun one to cast. Um, and so I hope this one will, will follow suit. But while you guys are waiting uh, along with us, don't forget to follow us on here as well as on Twitter and Instagram to keep up with all of DJ Esports action. Uh, subscribe if you so wish. It helps support the team, helps us uh, you know, uh, update and upgrade peripherals, buy more computers, travel, you know, that kind of stuff. Just promote ourselves even. Um, and if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon and Twitch accounts and you get one free sub each month to any channel of your choosing. And we hope you choose us. Uh, otherwise, you can donate to us if you so wish. It helps support the team. It's similar to subscribing, or you can donate to Extra Life, uh, which is a fund for sick children. Obviously, a very, very worthy cause there. Um, one of these times, I should try to speed run that, see how quick I can get it done. Because, <laughs> my God, do I could I say that in my sleep at this point? But I was gonna say that's impressive that you can run. Oh that. yeah, I I mean I've been saying it for like. What three four years now, so yeah. I it, it's just part of my soul at this point. <laughs> oh man, here I'll I'll transfer us over to the live view right quick. And it looks like first map is gonna be Oasis. Is this is a legal map. You know if Oasis is a legal map. If it's a legal map? Yeah, yeah, like comp legal, do you know? Oh, I don't know. I, okay. Like, I don't I guess I didn't follow the rules when okay. Overwatch 2 came out. Yeah, I I mean it might be legal in like ranked, but I don't I don't know if it's legal in in the collegiate comp. I would imagine most maps are other than like Par wait, no, Paris. Paris isn't in Overwatch 2. There's no two C P in Overwatch 2. Are there any bad maps left? It was mostly like the two CP maps that were were bad. Mics are quiet. I can fix that real quick. There we go. How's, that's probably better. I just turned it up all the way. <laughs> Hopefully that's good now, Mr. Purple Panda. I will say, though, Oasis is a really fun map to play on if you can get that high ground first. Yes, I agree. Uh -huh. uh, so... Because there's the high ground with the little bounce pad, and then there's also the high ground on point, and it, it allows for a lot of really interesting holds and takes. Um, and, like, you can play Far on this map. You can play Ash on this map. You can play Tracer on this map. Like, there's there's so many options. Like, obviously, meta is going to dictate some stuff, but, like, in terms of just how you can play the map, you can play basically any character you want. Yeah. And I, I, I do think that part of Oasis is... Very cool and well designed. What part made it illegal? No, I I don't know if it's illegal or not. Okay. I. I honestly, I'm kind of just talking to say words. <laughs> oh, I I do think UJ is currently down in the the swag department though, because uh, the the other team has five Pachimari player icons. That's, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's. it's oh. That's I dictating anything. Jay. Yeah, this is this is gonna be rough. <laughs> uh, but I mean, to be fair, you just got some some very rizzed up uh, player icons as well. Oh, for sure. And I gotta say, knowing all those, all the people who are on the Overwatch team, that's exactly what they would all pick. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I I would agree. I, what are we waiting on? We're waiting on... 
I I think we're just waiting on the, <laughs> the other Virginia. team. Yeah. I suppose there is a Jamestown in like the thirty of the fifty states. Yeah, and one of those colonies over there. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um. Yeah, like I was saying, I think it should be a pretty solid matchup. Um, I guess I can check out some career profiles if they're not all private. Because they're just all private. All right, so we got... Okay, so we've got an unranked Mercy, or support player. Got got an unranked <laughs> support player. All right, so we've seen two unranked support players. And that's about it. <laughs> that's a lot to go off of. Yeah. Um. I mean, I guess it wouldn't entirely surprise me though if these are their alt accounts that they don't ladder on. Yeah. Just for, for sure. like not showing rank. Yeah. But uh, we'll have to see just how things pan out. What's the, the function keys for Overwatch, I think? Pretty sure. Because every game has its own wonky spec controls, you know? Whoa. Look at that beautiful view. Oh. That's the one thing I really appreciate about Overwatch is that their design, like their yes, it, attention to it, detail. It's very pretty. Uh -huh. I, I would absolutely agree with that. It is a really aesthetically pleasing game. Unless Ramatra is stuck in T-pose for some reason. <laughs> Have you seen that? I haven't, no. Uh, yeah, like I, I don't know if it still happens, but I, I know when he first came out, there was a, a bug with him where I, I think when, like, if you would change forms and ult at the same time, you would just be stuck T-posing. <laughs> yeah, that, that was... Oh, man, Blizzard's a small indie company. Ooh, Ryan getting low already. Mungus just playing the corner best he can. Might do a push here. Uh, the, that Lucio decided to front line. Front line Lucio doesn't always yeah. work. <laughs> I know that from personal experience. Will we dodge Ooh. those? Smooth. We clean with it. And it looks like UJ Smooth take. <laughs> is going to claim a first control of the point. Did we lose anybody? No, we didn't. Uh, no, I don't think anyone fell. And he hit the railgun. He's got the charge. Oh, wait. I No, I don't think the railgun headshot. Because railgun headshot does... Oh, how much does it do now? It used to do 200. Or like 250 or something like that. It, enough to one-shot. Really? But I, I know they nerfed it, so it doesn't quite one-shot anymore. I want to say it's like 195. Like not quite enough to one-shot. But like still a lot of damage, obviously. Like I say, I was watching Zach before we started streaming. He is really good at mm -hmm. playing damage. Yeah, I, I think both of UJ's DPSs are, are very good. I, I mean, granted, I think Ooh, good uh, cleanse UJ there. As, as a team is like pretty solid. Even, even our lower ranked players are playing super well this year, which is awesome to see. Like, it's really cool to see someone that's like, you know, gold platish come out and like actually really perform. Oh, he hits the rail gun. He's getting out to 70% on the point. Oh, it's just one health, but Carter cleans her up. Mr. Greenless Grievous, yes, that is true. I did turn down Applebee's. The prior obligation. Yes. Thank you for not bailing. <laughs> How much damage does that the that orb do? Uh, Sojourn's, yeah, Sojourn's. orb. Uh, 
I don't know... I don't know how much damage it does per second. I want to say it's like 35-ish, 40 a second. Which is like not insane, but it's enough where if you're standing in it, it'll it'll kill you fast enough. Yeah. Plus you're taking damage from everybody else. Yeah, mm -hmm. that kind of becomes really dangerous. Yep. It, it's super strong in any sort of choke point where, you know, you're you're playing that corner and you got to push through and it's you just you 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 know the 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 orb right into it and get a free 20% old charge. Yeah. I feel like that orb is really good with covering corners too. Like if you got a poke team and they're just like sitting on a corner yes. and you just throw the orb and yep. it just completely gets rid of that advantage. Why does it look like we're lagging on stream? Uh, to to anyone that's watching, does it look like we're lagging to you guys? Like, does does the frame rate look low, or is that just our OBS? I guess it could just be our OBS. Oh, we'll we'll hear from them in two minutes. <laughs> Big pile driver from Ball. Genji's in there too. Just taking the high ground. Yeah. Good, good, good. No one falling from either team yet. Lilyferno super low is gonna fall to that orb that we were just talking about. Jay Drizzy kinda in there a little low. <laughs> That's okay, because Carter's tearing it up right now. True. His aim is Crispy, especially when aiming at that ball. <laughs> that looks like UJ is finally going to claim first control of the point. Roughly half an hour into it. Something like that. Why is F5 not working? F4. Maybe, does our F5 key just not work? No, there's no way. I wasn't pressing it hard enough, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Good to know. I just have to slam the F5 key. There you go. Um, Jay Drizzy just doing the good old Lucio pestering. <laughs> like ball is going to rip mines on point, but you're just going to be able to avoid most of those pretty easily. Ooh, pick. Pulse doesn't find anyone. are able to retreat behind his Orisa, clean up the kill. Abstaining from Zold, I like that. What's up? Why I can't I can't tab to bring up the scoreboard? Okay. I swear they changed the spec controls. Good healing from Kaleroni there. Keeping Carter up. Oh, so close. Oh, he's gonna get it. Oh, so low. And the tracer, just unbelievably low. But it is gonna take him out of the fight for a little bit. Buy you just some more time. And considering they have control of the point, that's all they really need. Shooting through the hole. Gonna find one, finds two. Crispy tracking on that ball. Looks like they just have the brig and the tracer left. Oh, nice oh, tracer. <laughs> He's nuts. Silas is going to go in, but, you know, being Brig, not really able to do a whole lot 1v5. And that's going to be the map in favor of UJ. Pretty quick little 2-0 in favor of UJ. Honestly, I don't think that could have went much better. No. That, that was pretty handy. Yeah. I could have said we could have maybe taken high ground a little more, but, I mean, even if we didn't, they had people on the ground. So. Yeah, it, like, it, it didn't end up mattering. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that went really well. Okay, no lag. Cool. Good. So it is just on our end. I mean, I, I'm fine with having lag on our end if it means there's no, no lag on stream end. Yeah, Reaper character is, <laughs> he's my favorite. He's got the two revolvers and the ultimate that does lots of damage. God, I, I love that Reaper character. Yeah, gotta love his revolvers. Yeah. Are, are you familiar <laughs> with that pasta, the copy pasta? 
familiar with. The the Reaper with his two revolvers cop. Oh no! You should look that one up. That's a good one. <laughs> you should become informed on on copy pastas because <laughs> it really is just a, a way to communicate. Uh, copy pastas are so good. But I I love harassing people in in Twitch chat, and there's such a, a <laughs> an efficient way to do it. They're so low effort, and like a lot of the time they're just super long. So they they just take up the entire chat. <laughs> oh man, copy pastas go so hard. King's Row wow. is going to be second to map. I mean, not too surprising. Just everybody likes King's Row. Yeah. This is the like Reinhardt map, right? Correct. Okay. Yep. Just everybody likes King's Row. It's it's. A, a pretty simply designed map, but it, it's it flows well, and it's got like all the aspects that you would want. Like you can take off angles, or you can just push straight on. You know, there's there's so many different ways to hold, so many different ways to push. Like I I think it's a just a really nicely designed uh, hybrid map. Yeah, it truly is, and yeah, that I think my favorite part about this is when we were attacking. I mm -hmm. think last year on this map is yeah like that bus like it can almost like perfectly block ah uh, yep the spawn sometimes yep you're not getting harassed too much like right out of spawn but but if they peek a little bit this way and I mean yeah. granted that's a real risky peek because all of a sudden you've got five people in your face but yeah. yeah I like like I said it's just like a really simply but well designed map I, yeah. I think it's great. Five seconds and off we go into round uh, map, excuse me, two of the night. Fungus checking to see if there's a sniper up top, doesn't find one. Ryan shucks his fire strikes. There's a sojourn orb, doesn't look like too much damage is being done because of it. Humongous taking a lot of damage, but is being pocketed. Great. He, oh, he, oh, he got uh, cut off of the team. Oh. Yeah, he's in there, We're but... He doesn't he die. Survives. He doesn't die. But he does have to get on point, or someone has to get on point. Unless they decide to just give, but I'm not sure I like I that idea too much. Did. Yeah, so that's a big May wall. Oh, a bit of a C9 there for UJ, a little unfortunate. <laughs> just should be able to clean this up pretty quick now, but... Uh, oh, I forgot the name of the other team. But they do have control of the cart. Orson State? I'm sorry with an app. I will look at the stream title. <laughs> Let's see if Bullo Average gets it. <laughs> oh. Uh, I. Whoever's in control of the game is not pausing despite Humongous having DC'd. Oh, they're pausing. It loads not. Oh, okay. So I, I get... There we go. There's pause. So, uh, unfortunate that it took that long to pause, considering that was like half a point of, of progress, but it is what it is. Um, George Mason. George Mason University. That's what it is. Why? Why are we asking if there are if we don't have five people? Unless it's not updating. Okay, he's back. Okay. Sucks that he lost the ult charge, though, considering he was probably pretty close to ult. Yeah. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. George Mason now almost capped to second. 
Humongous is gonna have to push up soon to contest. Yeah, it happens. Good shot there. It's a railgun. If that was old Sojourn, that would've been a kill. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a kill. This May is just really doing numbers on UJ. They are. The completely just like singling people out. Yep. The they're hitting some big May walls. And I mean it's it's like a a pseudo meta staple of King's Row just because of how the map is built. Like there's so many chokes and like just narrow paths in general. But it like I said, it's really, really putting in work against UJ. Finds one with the, the javelin. Carter finds one with the helix rocket. This is the spot where it always feels like it's the weirdest to defend right here. Honestly, I, I think I would agree. Like, I, I don't know why. It's just like you only have that corner for cover and the payload. Yeah. Granted, that should be enough, but like it still feels like, like pushing on this can sometimes feel impossible. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it feels like you don't really have options. Yeah. Oh, unless they do that. <laughs> I guess I'm not gonna sneeze. Humongous doing his best to stay alive. Stay alive. Beat coming oh. out from the Lucio. Can he push him off the map? Oh, he can, unfortunate. But he's got his ult. So he can be able to do a clutch save here. Potentially. Potentially. I mean, Orisa ult is kind of <laughs> yeah, not, very not like, like it, it can be, but you kind of have to set it up, which is hard, especially against a coordinated team. Yeah. A good beat coming out from Jay Drizzy. Ooh, and Nathan got two, or Humongous got two with the... Well, one, one, one. In, okay. one in the, oh, the lamp, one? but yeah, I either way, that's still... Big enough value for the Arisal. We'll take it. Oh! Good spear chuck there. Can he find... Oh, he can't find the Sojin. Real close to full capping with three and a half left on the clock. You just got a lot of work cut out for him in terms of holding. That doesn't mean they can't do it. They've been doing pretty well so far here on third. A big Ooh, visor and big. just no contestion. Massive. Looks like that's a pretty handily one fight. Uh, and I mean, granted, it was two ults from UJ, but I mean, could be worse. Could have been five. So I, and the the combo of of uh, Kitsune Rush and Visor is, you know, as we just saw, very very strong. Walled off. Humongous is pretty singled out, and he's going to fall real fast. Oh, and hits the pin onto Jay Drizzy. Looks like oh, that. And we got... uh, despite there, some good picks, I guess there's only one on cart. Can he pop off? I believe he oh, can. he can! 15 player kill. Oh, he's Impressive. a nutcase! Oh. oh, Zach. Zach with the hard clutch. Zach just clean in house. Absolutely tearing them up. <laughs> Looking like quick kill me. Nah, quick kill me didn't hit that many walls. What do you mean? <laughs> uh oh. They got two picks on us. Let me defend this. Uh, with May ult, everybody doing tons of work. Yeah. Not much they can do there, but they stalled a yeah. lot of time. A yeah, minute 13 is right pretty there. good. Yep. Yep, a lot of time stalled there on third, so we'll, we'll take it. And granted, a full cap on King's Row 
is not uncommon. So I, I would wager that UJ can match that. Probably yeah. with more time in the bank. Yeah, the Ryan Lucio combo is always just such a hard hitter on mm -hmm. this map. Yep, because the the speed just enables Ryan to really get in there, and especially in the in the five v five format. So Ryan is definitely weaker because he doesn't have that off tank to support him. But uh, on Kings with Lucio, I think is like the best case scenario for Ryan in Overwatch Two just because he's able to take those corners and just take space so much more easily than uh, than on a lot of other maps. The best laid plans have backup plans. Jay Drizzy, best on the team. While I'm not allowed to pick favorites, I can say I support you. Look at the javelin. Look, look at the spin. Nuts with it. Ooh. Carter on the Widowmaker, oh. no. He hits it. He hits these. No way. Oh. Yeah, next time. Next time. I mean, it was worth a shot. No. It was. Get it? If he uh, could have gotten a pick out of that, that would have been huge. Oh, yeah. Like, like, if he picked the May, that was a one fight. Oh. Hands down, that was a one fight. That's the other thing about this map is, like, it feels like this defensive spot so far away from their spawn. Yep. Absolutely. Ooh, Zach getting real aggressive in there. Oh, yeah. Almost shut down Violet. Carter up there as well. Still contesting as best he can. Humongous taking a lot of damage. Being pretty hard pocketed from Kay Laroni. Zach does fall, unfortunately. And we are on point. But unless George Mason is able to rally their team, which uh, kind of are. Pulling out the Reinhardt a bit here. Can we get Doing a oh. lot of damage, but just not quite enough. The Ryan shield breaks. Ryan dies. UJ gets point. It almost feels like UJ is kind of like playing this as a rush team almost in some sense. Yeah, and I mean, that's kind of how you have to play the map in general for the most part. That is true, um, yeah. Especially like if you're playing in the Ryan, you kind of have to out aggro the Ryan or you have to just straight shield poke. And they're, they're going for just blowing Ryan up before he can really do anything. And it, it seems to be working largely. Uh, that's an awkward trade of ults, but I mean, both teams used ults, so we'll we'll take it. The blizzard gets spent. That was a big, big. Uh, oh, what what's the actual name for it? I want to call it milk because that that's what Overwatch players call it. The the cleanse and immune thing that oh. the Kaleroni tosses down. Um, that, that allowed UJ to get out of the, the blizzard. That was huge. Good stun there before getting pinned. I like it. UJ having a little trouble taking this corner. Humongous did get singled out. But he forces out the lamp. Big slam, though, coming out from that run. Humongous is going to fall, and the rest of UJ is either going to fall or have to back. Still a little over three minutes left on the clock, though. We got plenty of time. Yeah, UJ has more than enough time to cap second here. How much time does the getting to the point add to it? Is that two minutes? It's either two minutes or a minute 30. I don't know how I'm blanking out on that one. I, I want to say it's a minute 30. Ooh, good shots on the kip there. UJ just regrouping. 
realize that they can get some progress while that May isn't able to contest them. Wall off our humongous man. Zach takes the high ground. Doing a lot of damage. Not quite able to find any picks, but took a whole lot of space, and that's the real important part. We win these. We win these. Oh. <laughs> Take the one like a man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> God, it's funny tonight. Not at all. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Violet is just going to reset there. Kip oh, is going nice. to get picked as that wall goes up, too. That's a huge pick. Going to take away a lot of holding time from George Mason here. Got a Cosmic Brownie. I feel like Cosmic Brownies were so much more enjoyable when I was little. <laughs> like, they kind of just taste like Play-Doh now. But back, back when I was little, they were incredible. Are those the ones that come in like a little clear yeah, plastic like, packaging? Like, yeah, like, like with the, the the little candy things, the colored candies. Oh, yep. yeah. Oh, he's nuts! It's a massive Arisa ult. Oh, While I'm talking about beautiful. brownies, he's clutching up. <laughs> well played by Humongous here. And team kill. Might be able to contest quick. He's going to probably push him. Oh, and they whooped out Ramatra. Yeah, I, I mean, when you're this close, Ramatra's uh, alternate form, his... Oh, what's his it? defense. What, what's it called? Yeah, like the one where like he punches punch. is, is just so strong. Like, it does so much damage. Ooh, oh, he's, he's off the map! Off. Oh, it was it was Jay Drizzy, actually, that, that ended up booping him off the map. I was wondering why that momentum carried further than I... I thought it would. That would be why, but looks like my prediction was kind of correct, and UJ ends up full capping with a little bit more left on the clock. Yeah, I don't know about Cosmic Brownies. How do you feel about oatmeal cream pies? What? I don't think I've ever had an like, oatmeal like, cream pie. Like the the Lil Debbie snacks? The oh, cream. I'll, I'll bring up an image there. Okay. <laughs> Incredible. I, I ate them when I was little, and they still hold up today. You're talking about, like, the Aunt, uh, Aunt Fanny, like, those chocolate cream rolls? No. Oh. Oh. No, I never had those as a kid. What? But, but I have seen them. Oh, they bang so hard. They're so good. I mean, they're obviously not good for you. It's like sugary oatmeal, oatmeal filled with marshmallow, but like, it's good. I remember I was never allowed to have like, like, a, like fruit by the foot as a kid or anything like that because my parents were convinced it would rot my teeth. Why that specifically? I know, and I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So every time I went over to my friend's house, I'd <laughs> just take one, but back to the game. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get the pick. It looks like they're George taking Mason. high ground. Yep, they're gonna opt to take high ground. Good damage getting in with that, uh, that spear. Carter getting forced off high ground. Now it looks like George Mason, George Mason is going to be <laughs> dropping right onto point. Does he win these? Win the 1v1. You got this, bro. You got it. Oh. Not quite. With a big wall. He won't just doing a little better to stay on point this time, though. Yep. He is contesting point quite easily. Nice. And his DPS are able to clean up for him. Nice picks by Carter. Two. One. And it doesn't look like George Mason is going to be able to do a whole lot. Just going to get picked off as they get to point. Stalling isn't really going to do a whole lot when you're not the defending team. 
a real clean hold from UJ there on third round defense. The environmental kill! The poop! It's nuts! Yeah, say, with the new, with the Overwatch 2 Orisa, I was always just such a huge fan of Orisa from Overwatch 1. Oh. That I almost, like, I couldn't believe that they gave her a spear yeah, no, in Overwatch 2. Saying you liked Orisa in Overwatch 1 is a yucky and bad opinion. Uh, oh, man. I realize she, that now. She was but... so boring. Like, I understand that she was definitely effective sometimes, but Double Shield was just awful. Her and her and Sigma, just so unfun. Yeah. But I, I know. I almost felt like with Overwatch One, there's a lot more stalemating with Overwatch One yes, versus exactly. Overwatch Two. Yeah, it it flowed less than uh, than Overwatch Two does. And I mean, when you've got two tanks on a team. It's yeah. gonna happen. All with shields that are about their health or more. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's gonna take forever to get picks. Yeah, you have a, a 1,800 health shield and then another 3,000 health shield that goes up when that one goes down. Like, oh, what a what a fun meta. <laughs> Man, I love shield burning. Like they're going Muramacha again. I respect the pick. I feel like Ryan has been going decently for them, but but if if they felt that it wasn't, good change. Yeah. Do a lot of damage here. We get oh. Do we trade? Oh yeah, we trade tanks. Yep. So now it's kind of just a just a death match. <laughs> Deck is cut off from the rest of his team, but it shouldn't matter too, too much. He's not really getting pressured at all. Looks like Humongous is back on point and bigger than ever. A good spear to keep him off. The good spear to cancel that block. I like it. It is. He's really good with that, too, is just... Using the spear to stop the Reinhardt charge, to stop people from pushing up. He's yep, yep. He's had really effective use of the the stun of that spear. I think he's been doing great. And just like that, UJ is going to pick up their second map of the series. Amther in the Gaussian Cougar. Amther. Jay Drizzy do be crazy, though. Oh, do we get to see the... Do we get to see the boop again? Oh, I hope. oh wait, no. It, it was next fight that there was the boop. Okay. Uh -huh. He's nuts. He gets play of the game. Humongous is larger than life. Oh, these are some good lo-fi beats. I like oh, it. Like... Where did this come from? <laughs> <laughs> I really liked uh -huh. like when they introduced Kiriko. I love that like home screen, like the. Oh, how did they go? It was, it was a bop, though. Oh, yeah, like like the home screen music on it, yeah. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Like, oh, wow. You my boy, Lucy. That was... Yeah, that was a bop. Good times. So you just just been performing pretty solidly. There was the May that was uh, kind of... Getting some picks here and there, but UJ did work around it, and uh, honestly, UJ's just been looking pretty solid tonight. I'm I'm impressed. They're doing well. Yeah, I I agree. Spear Arissa is more fun. Shield Arissa was objectively better. It like not by herself though. It was the fact that double shield existed. Like, her by herself wasn't all that great. It was oh, just yeah. the fact that Sigma existed to supplement that. That that made her very good. And yeah, like you were saying earlier, like, getting the environmental kills with a tank, like, that's 
that is an amazing feeling that mm -hmm. you get. <laughs> yeah, it's what there's Arissa, there's Ball, Roadhog, Roadhog. Yep. Um, I guess like now that Ryan can cancel his charge, Ryan can do it. Yeah. Sigma um, technically could, but it's just a little weirder. With Rock, yeah, Rock. I because I mean Rock boops like what half the distance of javelin so like not negligible but not super far yeah. i guess a lot of tanks can get the environmentals but not many of them can do it like Arissa can where you're just launching them i i think ball is the only one that can do it better and that's kind of how he's designed so yeah. it's a it's a given it looks like circuit royal circuit royale <laughs> gonna be our third map of the night. It looks like we're just waiting on someone from George Mason, uh, probably taking a pit stop or something of the sort. Yeah, like I was saying, I think all of UJ has just been performing very well. And uh, it's like Humongous is new this semester. Uh, or new new to the starting roster this semester. Um, and Jay Drizzy is new to the starting roster, roster this semester as well. And they've both been putting up phenomenal performances. They've been they've been hanging in there and then some. They have. And has Jay Drizzy is like new to the team like this year. This this semester even, I, okay. I believe. I don't think she was official prior to that. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's it's great to see that they're really putting up solid performances the way that they are. Like, uh, I, I know that Zach Carter and Kayla Roney are all, uh, like, diamond -y masters -y. Um So it, it's good to see that Humongous and Jay Drizzy are, are able to keep up with that. Yeah, I'm, like, I saw Humongous get down to, like, 100 HP, like, multiple times, and that healing was just impeccable. Yes, mm -hmm. Kayla Roney's healing has been very, very on point tonight. On our team? I guess I don't know the username. It wouldn't surprise me if he was new this semester, though. I think he was here before. Is he? Yeah. Oh. I think he's also, I think he's their spectator. No, he's, oh, he's, he's blue. Someone new, I guess. <laughs> In we go. Oh, the Torbjorn pick. Oh, I've been baited. Please play Torp. I want to see it. Like, we're probably just going to see, like, Widow Sojourn or Soldier Sojourn or something <laughs> like that, but I want the Torb. Give it to me. Is Torb the meta for Circuit Royale? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't I don't know that Torb is the meta for any map, <laughs> but I love him. He slings Cheetos. He is. Uh. Oh, we're going double sniper. I love it. Very cool. Oh, yeah, Humongous was telling me a little earlier that this is more of a sniper map, right? Yes, absolutely okay. it is. At least for the first um, half. Yeah, at, at least for the first half. I mean, you can play snipers the whole thing, but this first part especially is very, very sniper-oriented. I'm i a little surprised to see Zack on the Hanzo and not the Sojourn just because she is, like, a pseudo-sniper, I would call her. Yeah, for sure. But... I mean, if we're going with the straight double sniper idea, then yeah, the the Hanzo is the only other strict pick. Also seeing Jay Drizzy on the uh, on the Mercy. See if she's gonna be pocketing one of the DPSs or if it's just to keep Humongous up uh, with all of the oh no poke damage coming out. Oh, Carter got snipers. picked or got the pick on the Kip, but. Zack is going to fall. Kip does get rezzed by Violets. Zack get rezzed by R? By uh, J Drizzy? I don't believe so. Okay. Oh, so on. low. But we do end up finding it. Zack with two. It's okay. We just have God. Hanzo. Himself. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> 
Oh, he, oh. he hit her with the the uh, the Sonic arrow. He's clean with it. And one thing to keep in mind is that because we have neutral spec, uh, they can only see uh, what... what how, how do I say it? They can't see enemy outlines unless it's full-on red like we saw on the Widowmaker there. Yeah, that's something I gotta remember is... Like, I'm like, why aren't, you, why aren't you just, you know, going in there and beating them up? Yeah. They can't. They don't know, know they're they are. there. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, being sneaky in Overwatch isn't usually a real tactic, but occasionally it can come in handy. Typically with more stealth-oriented characters like Tracer, Reaper, that kind of stuff. Ooh, that's a big Ooh. kill onto Spartans, though. He's going to find a second before falling. Does get rezzed by Jay Drizzy. I, I almost said rizzed by Jay Drizzy. <laughs> I'm going to call it rizzing now. Um, ooh, the Hail Mary rock. Does it connect? It doesn't connect. Dang. <laughs> Carter with the beautiful shot on the Elbardo. I didn't even realize his name. That's a good name. <laughs> Spamming down that shield real effectively. Love to see it. Right now, both teams are kind of just poking as best they can, but UJ definitely has the better angle for it. Carter is going to pick off Elbardo Carter's again. Crazy. Yeah, he's kind of just nuts with it right now. Got Infrasight. Not able to find too much. Ooh, good shot. Not too hard of a shot, but good shot nonetheless. Yeah. I'm not going to discredit that any. More than I can do, like, 60% of the time. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd make that shot maybe one out of ten times. Yeah. <laughs> I almost hear their team being like, we got to group up. I mean, pushing into a Sigma like this... Especially when the other team's DPSs are hitting shots like the, the way UJ is. is just so hard. It looks like Humongous and Jay Drizzy are both going to fall. So unless Zack and Carter can make miracles happen, I think that uh, George Mason is finally going to get some progress here. Is this a peak, is that, this yep, a peak spot? Yep, you can peek wow. through that. Yeah, that's one thing about Overwatch 2 that I think is done really well is there there's no spots that like you think you could peek through but you can't like there are in some other games now george mason is making it up to this corner it's going to be a big old ooh gets rocked out of it though gorgeous rock coming out of spartans there Rock not quite connecting. But Zack in there just doing work. Got that dog in him. He do have that <laughs> dog in him. Spamming as hard as he can. Humongous up there in the front lines, just doing front line things. Zack taking out Elbardo and Lily Infer uh Lily Inferno, excuse me. I've been calling her Lily Inferno. Battle Mercy, oh yeah, J Drizzy is a Battle Mercy. True. <laughs> the cleanest Battle Mercy I've seen. Once again, UJ's DPS just clean in house. They've been putting on a showcase, a master class tonight. Yeah, the, the, the space that you can shoot through is not large, I should specify. So but, it's still impressive. Yeah, it's it's still a cheeky little angle, especially when you're on like Widow Aranza. <laughs> Bob is in there, he's doing things. Uh -huh. Bob is putting in the work. Here comes Visor. Looking for the squishies. Does find one, but is gonna fall. Ooh, that is a fat flux coming out of Spartans there. Humongous just doing his best to stall cart. And he's honestly he's doing a phenomenal he job stalling cart. 
goodness. I don't know how he hasn't died yet. Right? Trying to get the pick. Oh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was a fantastic stall there. Yeah, that was... He, he lived way longer than he should have. <laughs> hey, UJ. Just regrouping, resetting for third point hold. Carter finds the shot eventually. Kip falls. George Mason already at a bit of a disadvantage. Humongous eating the rock for Carter. Very generous of him. That was a big helix. Hit like three there. Ooh, can't quite find the shot there. He's going to get domed. You going to ult? Um, oh. I, yeah, I don't know if this is yeah. exactly the opportune Oh, ult. but he... Ooh. He's just fire. Log and Kip. Ooh, can he pick off Lily and Pharaoh? Not quite able to find the damage, but is going to rip drag now. Going to split off Spartan from the rest of his team for a little bit. Not much coming out of it, unfortunately. Murder is going to get rezzed. <laughs> the the cheeky little arrow. He's going to pick off his counterpart in El Barto. Zach currently on fire, both figuratively and literally. <laughs> Ooh, yet again, just a big flux coming out of Spartans. He has had some massive ults this map. Not quite able to find that rock. Good suck. Very, very <laughs> good. We got the humongous stall again. And he is stalling humongously. He is. Up to the last second. Can Zach find any picks? Oh, he might be able to get that mercy. Oh, unfortunate. Close. But they... Oh, just barely too late. They were in overtime. Uh, so... For those of you that are illiterate, zero seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Full cap, but no time left in the bank, so could it absolutely be worse for UJ. It does mean we're going to be going to a round three if UJ full caps, but UJ is probably going to be favored if that is the case. Bob doing stuff. Bob, <laughs> do something. Bob's doing things. Yeah, Bowman is doing Bowman things, and man, Bowman is enjoyable to play, but just so unenjoyable to play against. Like, just getting randomly logged is, is, is such a terrible feeling. He is enjoyable to watch, though. That yeah, I, I agree. He is very satisfying, like, because you get the secondhand dopamine of that, that random headshot. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> like it's, it, is, it is fun to watch. Oh, yeah, we do love Zach. That does look like Zach opted for the Sojourn this time over the Hanzo, like I was saying first round. And I mean, maybe it's a defense versus the offense kind of difference. It it very well could be. I I can't say I've played too much of Circuit Royal. The Hail Mary rock doesn't quite find anything. Carter getting low but not dying. No one dying yet. Not dead yet. Humongous is not dead yet. Kip is landing those fire grenades. Absolutely, though, is... yeah. The, the dynamites are putting in a lot of work. Barrier goes down. Old Rock just barely catches the corner there. It's just such an awkward spot for UJ to be in, not able know. to find any picks. And just like Kinda not, oh well, still, yeah. thank you, Carter, for proving me wrong. <laughs> and UJ finds the opening they need, able to push up those stairs, take some space. 
get some free damage in. Even Beautiful. forcing them off high ground, so that's a lot of progress just earned there. Got them on the run. From one pick, even. Right? That is. Humongous opting to shoot at the barrier instead of the Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I respect it. Uh -huh. It's the rock, it's a lot of splash damage in, too. I didn't even realize the the kill feed on uh, Lily and Pharaoh was just four of UJ's members. <laughs> he finds these. He finds these. Oh, he's got to get out of the way. That is absolutely tragic. Carter falling to it. This is so sad. Window comes out, pushing George Mason back. Oh, good pick by Zach. Yeah, El Bardo being shut down before he can put in too much work with that uh, that window is a really big deal. Does get res though by Violet. Hitting that big flux. Oh, oh, but yet again gets rocked out of it. That's if there's one thing that Spartans has been doing phenomenally, it's hitting big fluxes and shutting down humongous fluxes. Yeah, he has been just a demon in terms of uh, old play. Oh! So he, I, I get it, I, I understand. So, uh, Humongous doesn't have rock oh. when, when he ults, cause, cause he waits until the stun is gone. Like, like, a, like a Chad Sigma. Oh yeah. I get it. I should have known that. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done anything Overwatch related. <laughs> The funny thing is that I thought the exact same thing. I was like, wow, he's really picking the right time for this. Oh, there's a reason for that. Yeah, it has been a long time since I've done anything involving Overwatch. Been uninstalled for like <laughs> two, three months. <laughs> UJ kind of in a last ditch effort now. They're getting held pretty handily by George Mason here. And I, I would imagine this was George Mason's map pick. But even then, considering how the last two maps have went, it's really surprising how we get a pick. Okay, we'll take it. The drag comes out. That, that was a fast drag from uh, from El Barto. I feel like I would be targeting Hanzo. Ooh, a humongous, or yeah, humongous gets the pick onto Spartans, excuse me. And... Uh, well, we make it a point. UJ finally caps. It's 2.30. 2.30. Not 1.30. It's 2.30 that they get. Numbers aren't even real. None of it matters. It's all relative. As an engineering major, I can confirm that statement. You're not even an engineering major. <laughs> uh, as a psych major, I can tell you that numbers <laughs> are sometimes actually not real. <laughs> The window gets popped. It is up by two. Window's a little far back, but I mean, it, it's good enough. Yeah, it, uh, it, it gets it, us distance. Yep, it, it, U, it UJ buys lots of space. <laughs> and, God, it's so late for casting, bro. Uh, I, I can't wait till the 24-hour live stream, which is this Friday and Saturday, by, by the way. Be sure to tune into that, uh, where I'm just casting for like eight hours straight. That'll be a phenomenal time. Gets two with the flux. Pops window to counter it, but they are down by two. Yep. Spartan is really good at knowing when mm -hmm. Mungus' rocks are gone. I, yep, just just <laughs> playing the the uh, the cooldown game is is something that he is apparently quite proficient at. Carter just hitting heads, I guess. <laughs> Why haven't I been specking him on Widow more? Why haven't you yelled at me to do that? What? Stop specking him on Window? Or Widow? No, keep the, oh. spec him more on Widow. Yeah. He's, he's just been popping. Now he's going to miss all his shots because we're <laughs> right. I know. Oh. It. Watch. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. 
All right, I'm gonna stop jinxing him. Yeah, let him do his work. Humongous in there. Eating a lot of damage though with that that grab. Get being forced off the point though. A little over a buck and a half left on the clock. Carter falling to Elbarda doesn't make things much better for UJ. Or any better, for that matter. <laughs> you want us to play Lover Watch for the 24 hour live? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Have you have you seen Lover Watch? Oh, uh, is that just like the servers where they just play like uh, Reaper no. and Widowmaker? No. no, so Blizzard released a, uh, a dating sim. Oh my like, like an Overwatch gosh. dating sim today. Or I, I think it was today. Dude. Um, so yeah, it is hilarious. Ooh, good rock on the Very Spartan there. Rock. Taking oh, a dude. lot of space. Ooh, but he's gonna Go fall. Good restraint on that ult. 30 seconds left on the clock. Unfortunate timing for Carter. And I mean, he couldn't have known that the Sigma was that far up. But he's just looking to get some... Uh, some cheeky picks before the fight really starts. Try and solidify UJ's hold on the card, at least for a bit. Oh, gets rocked out of ult yet again. And I think UJ might drop this map. As much as I hate to say it. Ugh. Zack and, uh, and Carter are going to have to pull off some absolute miracles. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they can. Oh, he, he does kill one, but it's not quite enough. Not quite. And Circuit Royal is going to be going to George Mason. So not quite the 3-0 sweep that Overwatch uh, or that, that UJ was looking for. Um, but I mean... But now it's our map pick, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's our map pick. So, if that says anything, uh, I think that bodes well for UJ. That's a that's a big boy ult there coming out of Spartans. His Sigma play was wild. So now we'll have to see what map. Or may, maybe after, maybe after the first two, it's set. I don't know, you're the one that played competitive yeah, you, Overwatch. I didn't. <laughs> Usually it was what? If you if you win a match, the losing team gets to pick the next map, but the winning team gets to pick if they want to attack or defend first. Okay. And yeah, I just wasn't sure about how they swapped out like the new modes with the, this new pushing the robot mode. Yeah, I, I think they just swapped King of the Hill with, uh, with push. Because, okay. I mean... Or, or not, not King of the Hill, excuse me, uh, 2CP. Like Hanamura and Volskaya. Oh. Like those kinds of maps. Um, does that mean... They got rid of Volskaya? Yeah. Oh. I, I think it's still in the game, but it's not playable except in custom modes, I think. Okay. It might not even be in the game at all. Okay. Which, I mean, I, I can't say I miss 2CP much. <laughs> um... And I, I would argue that most of the community would agree with me. But there there are a few 2CP enjoyers. Like, I, I've had my moments on, like, Hanamura. You know, I, I think it was fun. I don't think it was great competitively. But I, I think it was fun. Yeah, for sure. Love to see just what both teams whip out for the first push map of the series. We're going to be seeing an Arissa v. Uh, uh, Ramatra duel could be interesting and then so they've got the torbjorn they've got a torbjorn on the push <laughs> interesting pick huh yeah i mean considering he was playing hanzo briar why isn't he just still playing hanzo <laughs> maybe he felt his hanzo wasn't 
doing enough? Well, because he was... He was the May player, too, wasn't he? He was. Albardo, yeah. So, I, like, I, he's clearly their flex DPS. Um, but still interesting to see that he would prefer Torb. Uh, maybe get that Torb pick. Yeah, maybe, maybe he <laughs> no longer prefers Torb to Hanzo. Maybe. See how he feels. Oh, he's staying on. I respect it. Good on him. I, I love playing Torb. I think Torb is so much fun. Right. So, like, I... He, he is a, a spiritual brother. Torb? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, El Bardo playing Torb, but also Torb himself, yes. The, the semi-accidental dink onto Lily and Pharaoh. Mungus just in there, just doing damage. Killing Carter them. in there cleaning up. UJ just dominating right now. That was impressive. And that goes to show just like how much a map pick, you know, how big of a difference that makes. Yeah, absolutely. Because the, the thing about map picks is, I mean, there, there's definitely some maps that are more competitively viable than others, but at the end of the day, it's still largely preference. And you know, when your team likes a map, they're bound to perform better on it. So, especially yeah. if the other team hasn't uh, rehearsed that map all that much, sure. it, it can be super, super one-sided. Yeah, I, so I like the prioritization of the turret over Ramatra there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just because getting that turret out of the way frees up a lot of, uh, just a lot of headache, really. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not that the turret inherently does a ton of damage. It's just so annoying. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've been like fighting someone. I finally get the pick on them, and then and then you die to turret. Yeah, you die to turret. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on. Oh, that is hilarious. Your turret just die with you. Woo. Back with the the nasty headshots. Oh my goodness. He's freaky with it. He does fall, but Humongous cleans up with the the big old the humongous oh. old. God, I'm so funny. You are on fire today. I really am. Ah, oh, put me <laughs> out. Laugh at that one. That one wasn't fun. I mean, granted, none of it's been funny, but I've been trying. It's just been whiffing. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm so funny. Now, Jay Drizzy with the beat to counter Kip's Blizzard. So, as long as UJ plays it slow enough. Uh oh. The Molten Core there. coming out of Torbjorn. We got the doing, lens doing a the... lot of zoning. Is going to pick off Humongous. That right click doing a lot of damage. Doesn't look like Beat is going to be spent on uh, on that Blizzard. But I mean, it was already a lost fight before Blizzard or like right at the start of Blizzard. Yeah. So I would wager that it was correct to hold it anyways. Mungus yet again just in there. They unfortunately get the pick on Kalorona though. Or Rona. Rona. Kalorona. <laughs> yeah. Mungus finally falling after living for what felt like an eternity. <laughs> he's good at that. Yeah, I I, I don't know how exactly he, he does it. Because half the time I don't even think he's getting healing. He's just existing and not dying. Right. Oh, Carter gets the pick onto the turret. He's nuts. <laughs> His aim is crispy on that stationary target. <laughs> oh, that was actually phenomenal tracking though on Kip. Was. Carter just doing numbers. All before they make it to that point. Nice. Or did they make it to the point or not? Yeah. No. Okay. Nope, they did not cap first. We got plenty of ults to spare too. That's nice. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, uh, aside from Railgun, she has all of their ults, which, uh, you know, ults win fights a lot of the time, unless you oh, yeah. unless you pop four when you shouldn't. So, like, <laughs> uh, that's a, a bit of an awkward trade there, but I think Visor is going to be doing a lot of work. Not quite finding any picks, however, and Kaleroni is going to fall to uh, the, the, the punchies of Ramatra. What is the form? Oh, Nemesis mode? Nemesis mode. Thank you. It was on the tip of my tongue, <laughs> and I couldn't get it. Nemesis form. That's what it is. Gosh, that block just stops so much damage. Yeah, it, it stops like 90% damage or something ridiculous. Ooh, the, the Ram ult coming out, though. Pushing UJ back. <laughs> Molten core coming out. Oh, that's a big oh. pull, though. Love to see it. Does only get lamp, but does a lot of damage in the meantime. And I think he's now just a custodian, just cleaning up. It falls as well. Three minutes left on the clock. UJ with uh, a good bit more progress than George Mason. Not an insurmountable task for George yeah. Mason, but Plenty of time for them enough. to turn it over, yeah. Yep. UJ is more than content with just stalling right now. Oh. Ramatra getting gunned down through his block. Crazy. Probably should have been specking Carter there, because <laughs> according to the kill feed, he did roughly a billion damage. <laughs> getting a little split, but Ramatra's in a little too deep, and he's trying to keep just above in his head. Uh, good song. What song? Uh, in Too Deep by Sum 41. Good song. Anyways, before I continue quoting things, <laughs> seems like UJ is about to start. Nope, I oh. jinxed it. Don't just ripple, please. Okay. Ooh, Kayla Roney in there just doing oh, damage. Just Kiriko things. She's a DPS in healer <laughs> form. Body shots don't do that much damage, but it seems like headshots with Kiriko do an unbelievable amount of damage. Like, I'm pretty sure you can just straight up two tap a squishy. Which yeah, that's, is that's why I can't fathom it. Unbelievable. Like that Matra ult again. All right, so I no longer have any idea what's going on on my screen. <laughs> I love it when like three ults are popped and it's it's just colors. Mm -hmm. Run on UJ yet again, just cleaning up after the fight. The Ram ult at the start of it didn't really seem to hinder UJ too much. They kind of just backed and uh, that was that. gonna rip it while he's in the <laughs> in it, the the magma he does get um, a pick though and the turret and one that, and a half and the turret but it doesn't look like that was quite enough to keep control of the robot for UJ but 10 seconds left on the clock George Mason is gonna have to put up a heck of a fight to uh, to win this map I'm tired. I'm just tripping over my words, man. <laughs> Big ult from uh, from Violets there. Right 
Fungus is in there taking space, taking names. Visor gets popped. Ooh. He needs to stay alive. He stays alive. Very good. Some would say he doesn't even need the aimbot part of that ult. He's a he's an aimbot himself. <laughs> and that is the series in favor of UJ. Three to one. So not quite the clean 3-0 sweep that we saw last week that the team was uh was hoping for. But with that being said, pretty solid performance. Some hiccups here and there. But all in all, UJ looked pretty clean tonight. They yeah. looked good. I was going to say, it's enough where they can like work on some things. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they still won. Yeah, they, they and won. And they awesome. won like pretty handily. Yeah. Uh, like Circuit Royal was a little rough, especially at the start. Um, but like they had some momentum going. And their hold wasn't bad by any means. Oh, no, um, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, I, I think UJ just put up a pretty clean performance tonight, and you love to see it. Yeah, I would say George Mason, yeah, they weren't bad at all. They no, were... I, absolutely not. I think it was it was more even than uh, than the scoreboard would argue, um, it, especially um, Spartan on, on that uh, Sigma and Ramatra. I think he was doing a phenomenal job in that front line. Oh, yeah. You know, there were just some times where he was getting blown up by UJ's DPSs. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I think that's all we've got for you guys tonight. Awesome. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to follow us on here as well as on Twitter and Instagram to keep up with all of that UJ Esports action. You can subscribe if you so wish. It costs 5 bucks a month to help support the team. Uh and if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon and Twitch accounts and get one at free sub each month to any channel of your choosing. Uh, it doesn't have to be us. Uh, we would like for it to be us because um, it, it supports us all the same. Um, but if you have Amazon Prime, be sure to spend that even if it's not on us. Um, you can donate to us or Extra Life if you so wish. Obviously, donating helps support us the same way subbing does. Um, and donating to Extra Life uh, helps support sick kids. So a very noble cause there. Um, and like I said, that's all we've got for you guys tonight. Um, so tomorrow, I I don't know which we're streaming between COD and Valorant. I know we streamed Valorant last week, so I would wager that we're streaming COD this week. Um, but don't don't hold me to that because it could just not be true. I could just be spitting straight fibs. Um, but yeah, be sure to tune in for that. Uh, we've got Smash. No, we don't have Smash on Thursday. We have a bye this week for Smash. So nothing on Thursday. You guys get a night of rest along with us. Um, and Friday into Saturday is our uh, biannual 24-hour live stream. We've got a lot of fun stuff planned for that, so be sure to tune in uh, at any point during that. Um, as the name would suggest, goes on for 24 hours. I don't expect for you guys to hang out during the whole thing. But if you do, I mean, props to you. That's really that's pretty cool. Um, so thanks. I expect it though. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Some of us expect it. Yeah. I, if if you don't, we might be mildly upset. <laughs> um, but thank you for tuning in, guys, uh, to this banger series. We appreciate it. Uh, be sure to stop in tomorrow and have a good night. <laughs>